The moment the pulsating alien weapons knocked out Zeta Base's shields, Lieutenant Commander Raymond Morgan knew the Tholians were about to learn the hard way. Why, you don't fuck with a human outpost. Alarms blared through the cramped command center as emergency lights bathed Raymond's chiseled face in a hellish red glow. The outpost's meager defenses had been effortlessly brushed aside by the alien vessel's opening salvo, leaving the small human crew totally exposed to the whims of the hostile invaders. Sensors, give me a readout on that ship now, Raymond barked, fingers flying over the flickering controls of his sparking terminal. Saxy sir, the Tholian vessel completely outclasses us, Ensign Vikram Patel stuttered, voice cracking. Its weapons and shields are light years beyond anything we've got planet side. I don't care if that thing's the goddamn Death Star, Raymond growled, keying the base wide comms. This is our world and we're not giving it up without a fight. I want all security teams in full combat gear with rifles charged. Hold the perimeter around the command building at all costs. The lieutenant commander's pulse pounded in his ears as he watched the sleek alien craft settle onto the red sand, hydraulics hissing. These Tholian pricks thought they could just waltz onto a UESF world and take whatever they wanted? They were about to get a painful lesson in human defiance. Sir, what if, what if we can't stop them? whispered Ensign Patel, a sheen of sweat coating his brow. Listen up, Vikram, Raymond said firmly, placing a hand on the terrified officer's shoulder. There's fifty souls on this outpost counting on us. Fifty humans, millions of light years from home, with just a few sentry guns between them and whatever those lanky bastards have planned. We hold the line, you read me? No matter the cost, we hold the line. As he stormed out, pulse rifle in hand, Raymond swore that even if those Tholian fucks took the base and killed them all, humanity would make them choke on the victory. The UESF didn't train their soldiers to roll over for hostile alien empires after all. Whatever happened next, Zeta Base's crew would show their would-be conquerors the true meaning of human courage against impossible odds. Raymond strode out of the command center, pulse rifle gripped tight as the Tholian ship's ramp descended. A group of the willowy aliens emerged, their movements precise and almost insectoid. The one in the lead, draped in a shimmering silver robe, stepped forward and inclined his elongated head. I am Ambassador Linux of the Tholian Confederation, he said, voice a reedy whisper. We have much to discuss, Lieutenant Commander Morgan. Raymond narrowed his eyes but kept his rifle lowered. Sergeant Chen, please escort the Ambassador's party to the conference room, he said into his helmet comms. As Chen and a squad of armoured marines approached, he turned to Corporal Nguyen and Private Davis. Keep a close eye on our guests and those devices they're carrying. I don't like this one bit. In the cramped conference room, Raymond faced off with Linux across the table, tension crackling between them. The Tholian Confederation has been observing your species for some time, the alien said, spindly fingers steepled. Earth's rapid expansion and militarization has not gone unnoticed. You are a potential threat to our dominance. Raymond scoffed. Our presence here is peaceful, Ambassador. We're not looking to start a war. Nevertheless, you will withdraw from this world and your other colonies immediately, Linux hissed, or suffer the consequences. As Raymond argued for the UESF's right to Zeta-9, he noticed the Tholians growing agitated, their strange devices beginning to pulse with an eerie inner light. Suddenly, alarms screeched through the base, and his wrist computer flashed an urgent message from the command center. Lieutenant Commander, the Tholian ship just released a swarm of attack drones. Vikram's panicked voice crackled. They're tearing through our automated defenses. Rage and realization surged through Raymond. The meeting had been a damn trap all along. Chen, detain these bastards, he snarled into the comms, leaping up and sprinting for the command center. He arrived to a scene of barely controlled chaos, screens lit up with feeds of insectoid drones, ripping into turrets and soldiers alike. The outer walls shuddered as the mechanical horde began to break through, screeching and chittering. Raymond's mind raced as he surveyed the base's failing defenses on the command center screens. The chittering, skittering Tholian drones were cutting through steel and flesh with equal ease, overwhelming his men. 
Pulse rifles cracked in staccato bursts, but it wasn't enough. They needed a miracle. Nakamura, Raymond barked into his comlink. Tell me you've got something. Dr. James Nakamura's harried voice crackled back. The QRD. My team's been working around the clock on a quantum resonance disruptor. It's designed to neutralize advanced tech by flooding it with a burst of quantum entangled particles. But it's never been combat tested. I don't care if it's held together with duct tape and prayers. We need it now, Raymond snapped. Get it ready. As Nakamura signed off, Sergeant Chen's voice cut in. Sir, Linux and his lackeys slipped their escorts. They're loose in the base, and I'd bet my stripes they're heading for their ship. Raymond gritted his teeth. This had all been a setup from the start. Chen, round up Nguyen, Davis, Thompson and Patel. Hunt those bastards down before they can coordinate the drones. Hefting his rifle, Raymond led his squad into the smoke-choked corridors. The emergency lights cast eerie shadows as they advanced, ears straining for the telltale skitter of drones. They didn't wait long. A pack of the vicious machines burst from a side passage, all razor claws and crackling mandibles. The marines opened fire, muzzle flashes strobing in the gloom. Tungsten rounds pinged off the drone's iridescent carapaces, but the concentrated fire drove them back. Private Davis cried out as a drone leapt onto his chest, claws screeching against his armour. Corporal Nguyen was there in a flash, jamming his rifle under the drone and blasting it point-blank. Vicus Ecor splattered as the drone crumpled. Watch the vents, Raymond roared as more drones poured from the ceiling. The damn things were learning, adapting to human tactics. He triggered a grenade and bowled it into their midst, shredding a dozen in the blast. Just as the tide seemed to turn, Dr. Nakamura's voice broke through the chaos. Commander, the QRD is armed, but you'll need to lure the drones into its targeting radius. Raymond eyed his battered squad, resolve hardening. They'd hold the line, whatever it took. Fall back to the command center, he ordered. We'll make our stand there. Pulse fire and inhuman screeches echoed through the halls as Raymond and his marines fought for every inch, the implacable drones pressing their attack. The lights of the command center glimmered ahead, a bastion against the onrushing horde. Raymond just prayed the QRD worked as advertised, or humanity's foothold in the stars would be bathed in blood. Raymond's boots pounded against the metal deck as he led his battered squad through the smoke-choked corridors, the screeches of Tholian drones echoing from all sides. The command center lay just ahead, a bastion of hope against the invaders overrunning Zeta base. Rounding the final corner, Raymond skidded to a halt. Linux and his Tholian compatriots blocked the path, plasma rifles leveled at the humans' chests. The aliens' eyes glittered with malice. Surrender the quantum resonance disruptor immediately, Linux hissed, and your deaths will be swift. Raymond's mind raced. The bastards had been monitoring their comms, waiting to spring this trap. He had to buy time. Linux, you spineless son of a bitch, Raymond spat, slowly raising his hands. Too afraid to fight her straight up? Had to resort to sneak attacks and threats? As Raymond spoke, he caught Chen's eye, discreetly signalling with two fingers. Chen nodded imperceptibly, finger tightening on his rifle's trigger. Suddenly, Private Thompson exploded from a side room with a roar, tackling the nearest Tholian in a blur of thrashing limbs. Plasma fire sizzled through the air as both sides opened up the cramped corridor erupting into a brutal melee. Raymond dove forward, slamming a Tholian into the wall and feeling chitin crunch beneath his fists. To his left, Nguyen grappled with two shrieking aliens, muscles straining as he fought to keep their claws from his throat. A plasma bolt scorched past Raymond's cheek, and he spun to see Patel crumple, a blackened hole seared through his chest. Grief and rage surged through Raymond's veins, and he redoubled his assault, bones snapping under his grasp. In the chaos, Linux lunged for the dropped QRD, spindly fingers outstretched. Raymond tackled him with a snarl, sending them tumbling across the blood-slick deck, grappling for control of the device. Linux's elbow cracked into Raymond's jaw, stars exploding across his vision. The Tholian's strength was inhuman, 
and Raymond felt consciousness slipping away as Linux's claws closed around his neck, choking, crushing. Suddenly the pressure vanished and Raymond gasped, air flooding his lungs. He looked up to see Chen standing over Linux's prone form, knuckles split and chest heaving. The Tholian leader twitched once, then lay still. Cutting it a bit close there, Sergeant, Raymond croaked, accepting Chen's hand up. Chen grimaced. Got held up by their damn drone, sir, and Guyan Davis with me. Let's secure the QRD. Scooping up the device, Raymond and his exhausted squad staggered into the command center. The scene inside defied belief. Consoles smashed, fires raging, and the stench of fear thick in the air. And yet, a defiant spark of hope still burned. Commander, Dr. Nakamura called, hunched over a flickering hollow display. Thank God you've got the QRD, we're almost ready, but those drones have breached over half the base already. Raymond limped to the scientist's side, pulse rifle clutched tight. Through the command center's shattered viewports, he could see the Tholian spacecraft crouched like a gleaming insect, disgorging more chittering horrors with each passing second. He thought of Patel and all the other brave men and women who'd given their lives to hold the line who'd bled and died to give humanity a fighting chance on the galactic stage, no matter the odds. Raymond's grip tightened on the QRD, the device thrumming with eldritch energies. The drone swarmed closer, a living tide of chitin and malice. He checked the charge. Seventy-eight percent. Not nearly enough for a base-wide pulse, but it'd have to do. It ends now, he thought as the drones smashed through the command center doors in a hail of splintered metal. One way or another, it ends now. Raymond's grim face was illuminated by the flickering lights of the command center as the chittering horde of drones clawed their way inside. Sweat beaded his brow, pulse rifle clutched tight as he turned to Dr. Nakamura. Dark, it's now or never we need that quantum pulse. Nakamura's hands shook as he made the final calibrations on the QRD. Commander, I must warn you again. This device is untested. There's no telling what the quantum resonance could do, not just to the Tholian tech, but our own systems. Even human physiology. I'll take that chance, Raymond cut in, jaw clenched. We're dead either way, at least this is a fighting chance, do it. The scientist swallowed hard and nodded. Initiating quantum pulse in three, two, one. A blinding flash erupted from the QRD, washing the room in searing blue-white light. The pulse ripped through the base, the very air seeming to shiver and warp. In the corridors, the Tholian drones suddenly went haywire, crashing to the ground in twitching heaps, internal circuitry fried by the exotic energy. But the pulse didn't discriminate. The command center plunged into darkness as every screen and console went dead, the acrid stench of burnt electronics filling the air. Shouts of confusion and terror echoed from the surviving crew. Chen, Davis, sound off! Raymond barked into his comlink, but the line stayed silent. He spun around as a thud came from behind. Sergeant Chen writhed on the floor, eyes rolled back, bloody spittle leaking from his lips as he convulsed uncontrollably. Meters away, Private Davis clawed at her helmet, a piercing shriek ripping from her throat, blood trickling from her nose. My God! Raymond breathed, realization and horror dawning. The quantum pulse was interacting with human neurons, ripping through their brains like a hot knife. He could feel it himself now, insidious tendrils of pain lancing behind his eyes, vision blurring. Nakamura slumped against the sparking remains of his console, blood oozing from his ears. Sir, I... I can't... Suddenly the central view screen crackled to life, a nightmarish image resolving from the static. A Tholian, far larger and more ornately armored than the ones they'd faced, glared from the screen, compound eyes blazing with malice. Human filth, it hissed, voice dripping with contempt. You have merely destroyed our drones. Our warship still darkens your skies. You have seconds to surrender your QRD weapon and this pitiful outpost to the Tholian hegemony. Resist, and I will personally oversee your extinction. Raymond dragged himself to his feet, head pounding, stomach roiling with nausea. His crew lay incapacitated or dying, 
the QRD's eldritch energies ravaging their bodies and minds. But he couldn't let this technology fall into Tholian claws. There was only one option left. Staggering to the primary control console, Raymond input his command override with trembling fingers. The computer's pleasant female voice seemed perverse as it responded. Zeta Base self-destruct sequence initiated. Please confirm identity and enter command code. Raymond coughed, wiping blood from his mouth. Commander Raymond Morgan, UESF, code input. Alpha, Whiskey, Tango, Niner, Niner, Zulu, Foxtrot. Identity and code confirmed. Please state reason for self-destruct initiation. Raymond glanced at the view screen, meeting the Tholian commander's hate-filled gaze, then looked to the bodies of his crew. Brave men and women who'd fought to the bitter end for humanity's foothold among the stars. Their sacrifices could not be in vain. Reason, he snarled, each word igniting agony in his skull. To deny critical technology to the enemy, to show the Tholian hegemony the price of invading human space. He lifted his chin, eyes blazing. To make you bastards choke on your victory. The computer chirped a confirmation, and a countdown appeared on every still-functioning screen. Two minutes to oblivion. As warning klaxons blared, and the Tholian commander's enraged screech echoed from the view screen, Raymond sagged against the console, strength fading. The QRD's quantum resonance was tearing him apart from within, each breath a battle. He thought of the UESF, the brave explorers and soldiers pushing back the frontiers of known space. They would never know the full story of Zeta Base's fall, but perhaps the sudden destruction of this outpost would give them a crucial warning, a sign of the threats lurking in the cosmos, waiting to drag humanity into the abyss. The deck shuddered as the Tholian warship opened fire, venting its fury on the doomed base. Bulkheads buckled and fires raged, but it was all distant, drowned out by the countdown. One minute, thirty seconds. Raymond pictured Blue Earth, the green hills of his family's home. They'd be told something, of course, killed in action, died a hero, the usual platitudes. As the timer hit zero and white fire consumed the command center, Raymond's last thought was a prayer that his death meant something, that in the end, Zeta Base's fall would light a fire in human hearts, a defiant beacon in the darkness. A final wordless fuck you to the monsters in the void. Blinding light, searing heat, then nothingness. Light years distant, a Tholian warship limped away from the expanding cloud of molten debris that had once been a human base. In his command chamber, the Tholian commander seethed, his victory turned to ashes by the primate's final act of defiance. The humans had annihilated one of the hegemony's most advanced ships, not with bombs or batteries, but with self-sacrifice, a concept the Tholian's rigidly hierarchical culture could scarcely comprehend. The mammals were insane, the commander thought, fanatical. They did not know their place and now the hegemony would be forced to commit precious resources to understand and counter this QRD technology, resources he had promised to secure. There would be consequences for this blunder. The Tholian commander's claw traced the ruin of his ship on the viewscreen. He had a feeling, a strange dread churning in his gastric tract, that this disastrous first engagement was merely prelude. Prelude to a war that would shake the galaxy to its foundations. If you finish this story, please subscribe and like the video. Then leave a comment that says, I like the story, and I will heart every single one of them. It really helps me. Thank you for your time.